Matt Rule is finally out in Carolina, and he may not be the only one leaving. With this regime change and possibly a brand new rebuild pending, many teams have been calling the Panthers preparing for a potential fire sale of key assets. Even though the Panthers have denied this, they have shipped Robbie Anderson to Arizona already, and multiple teams have reached out about former All-Pro running back Christian McCaffrey. And the interest in the tailback has sparked the Panthers to leak reports that they will only consider moving him for a first round pick or even multiple first round picks. And whether they're being truthful about this request or not, it does bring up an interesting question. How much draft capital is Christian McCaffrey worth? Most people would instantly say no to the Panthers' first round pick request, but I do think there's a lot to unpack with the situation before we outright say that CMC does not hold this kind of value. So let's take a deep dive and answer the question, is Christian McCaffrey worth a first round pick? One of the major reasons people would say no to trading a first round pick for Christian McCaffrey is because he's a running back. And it's no secret that the value of the running back position has plummeted in recent years and for good reason. The NFL has shifted to a more pass heavy league. Many talented backs have been found in later rounds and it's just too hard to give up valuable assets for players who generally have shorter careers. So the idea of giving up a first round pick for a running back should make most people cringe. But Christian McCaffrey isn't just an ordinary running back. He's also an elite receiving option out of the backfield and he has been since he entered the league and is very much back to his own self in that regard. He's produced the third most yak in the league regardless of position. He's the second highest graded receiving back this year per PFF, and he's fourth in the NFL in total yards from scrimmage. So CMC is every bit the same dominant weapon that he's been in the past. Even in a dysfunctional offense and situation, he's playing at an elite level, and he's even averaging the most yards per rush he has since his all-pro season in 2019. And I think when you look around the league, there's still an argument for a running back that is also an elite receiving threat being very valuable to an offense. If you take a look at the New York Giants, for example, we can see how much of an impact Saquon Barkley has had on the success of that offense and ultimately the success of that team. Austin Eckler also has been a huge asset to the banged up Chargers offense, and it's safe to say those two players have added wins to those franchises this year, and they're both running backs. So I do agree that the position isn't as valuable in years past, and in most cases, a first round pick should never be considered. But in cases like this, where McCaffrey is also an elite receiving option, I think there's definitely an argument to be made that McCaffrey is worth first round conversation based on play alone. But it never really is based on play alone when it comes to front office moves. Money is always a driving factor as well as availability. And both of these things are negatives when it comes to valuing Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey is set to make a significant amount of money over the next few years, and there are only a handful of teams that can absorb this contract as it is. So for most of the contenders that would be interested, they'd have to do a significant amount of restructuring and being willing to incur some additional financial risk. And this is all for a player that has struggled to stay healthy. McCaffrey has struggled just to stay on the field in recent seasons, and since he plays a position that usually has a shorter career than other positions, it would be tough for any team to give up significant capital for a 27 year old running back who may not even play many games for your team. So I can't imagine the Panthers expect to get multiple first round picks like they asked for. I personally was too worried to even draft him second overall in my fantasy league because of his poor injury history. So maybe the Panthers would be willing to settle for less than multiple first rounders. And I do think there are some teams out there that would be willing to overpay for McCaffrey's services. Teams like the Dolphins and the Rams would make sense considering they're fringe contenders that could definitely use help in the backfield with Cam Akers on the trade block and Chase Edmonds underwhelming play. But it would be difficult for those teams to justify giving up first round capital considering some of the other holes that they have on their rosters. But one team in prime position to give up a first round pick for Christian McCaffrey is the Buffalo Bills. The Bills are absolutely loaded. They currently rank number one in scoring defense, number two in scoring offense. So why would they trade a first round pick for Christian McCaffrey then? Doesn't seem like they need much help. Well, that's exactly why you trade a first rounder for Christian McCaffrey, because you don't really need it. Of course, you don't want to be throwing away first round picks, but if there is a team that can afford to risk a first round pick for a potential all pro running back, it would be the Buffalo Bills. Even if McCaffrey doesn't work out for whatever reason, they will still be Super Bowl favorites and Super Bowl contenders, even without their first round pick for next year. But if McCaffrey does work out, they would be virtually unstoppable. 
So I don't think it's the craziest thing. Obviously, the Bills or any team would love to get McCaffrey for less than that, but I don't see a reason the Panthers should drop the price. McCaffrey is one of the most dynamic players in the entire NFL. He's an absolute nightmare for opposing defenses to stop. Put him on a roster with other elite talent and he would be even harder to defend. I don't know if it's going to happen. And I know this is an unpopular opinion, but given the vast skill set McCaffrey offers and how he can turn a fringe team into a legitimate contender, in the right situation, I think Christian McCaffrey is most definitely worth a first round pick.